Hi everybody, how's it going? Muriel LePage here. Thought I would show you guys. Um, I had a little bit of a craving. I love chocolate. <laughs> I have an addiction. I'm sure some of you can relate. So I wanted to show you guys the breakfast maker and how to make brownies for one. This little guy isn't only for breakfast. <laughs> It's obviously for desserts too. So the breakfast maker, what I love is that it's super light. It usually comes with two um, egg inserts. So they're just kind of like little cups that you would put inside here so that you can make really awesome poached eggs. One little tip when you're doing your poached eggs, you would put a bit of water in the bottom and then add your cups. And then once you crack one egg in each of the cups, you would just take like a toothpick and poke the yolk just a little bit, just so that it doesn't, you know, explode on you in the microwave, right? And you would just put that on top like that and make your eggs. Um, and you can easily make an omelet in here without the egg inserts. But I wanted to show you guys how to make brownies for one, because I have a craving. So what's really cool about this is that it's kind of like a non-stick surface so i don't need to um spray it down or anything i'm just going to put my brownie right in there and another thing that's really cool is that there are some um instructions on the inside of the cover so if you weren't sure what the maximum is so it says kind of right here um, minimum two eggs maximum four eggs and it tells you to add a bit of water in the add your mixture in the bottom so if you're making omelets and stuff so it really tells you and shows you what to do um, and it also shows you right here I don't know if my lighting is pretty bad I'm trying to find the right angle you guys um, so it says 900 watt max five minutes so it kind of takes all the guesswork out of the breakfast maker because everything is right here on the inside and there's those little vents too um, which will make for the steam to escape a little bit so let's do the brownie because I am super pumped for this so it's a really really simple recipe for a brownie for one so all I have here are two packets of um, hot chocolate mix you can use really whatever you want um, yeah, so I have about two packets there. So that's about two or three tablespoons of um, hot chocolate mix. Then I'm also going to add two tablespoons of flour to the mixture. So it'll just kind of thicken it up. You can probably put a little bit more of that too. We're also going to add two tablespoons of oil. So you can do canola, vegetable, whatever floats your boat. I like to add a little bit of vanilla in mine, so I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla just for flavoring. I really like these um, measuring spoons as well because they they sit right on top of your counter, so I could have pre-measured that and nothing would have spilled over. So I really, really enjoy those. And we're also going to add to our mixture two tablespoons of water. Just add that. So this is just, just tap water that I have going on. And we give it a nice little mixture. I love how just so simple. And it's going to be for me and only me. <laughs> I, my, I'm a sucker for, for brownies. And I really, really love this spatula, you guys. It's just so firm and gets everything. Like... And I can I can scratch this bowl and it's you can just tell that it's picking everything up so let's set this aside and then let's grab our breakfast maker so this is the base so you're just going to dump all of that chocolatey goodness into the base of your breakfast maker like so oh love this spatula I love everything <laughs> all right see look at that virtually everything got picked up and then you place the cover on top I love that there are these handles here so you can pick it up and hold it and when we take it out of the microwave it's kind of like cool to the touch handles so you don't burn yourself so I really enjoy that I'm gonna stick this in the microwave between 60 and 90 seconds so let's start with 
let's do about a minute 10. Okay, so we'll do a minute 10 in our microwave. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Now, the best part, because with brownies, what am I going to add? Ice cream. I'm going to add ice cream. Of course I'm going to add ice cream. But I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm going to use to scoop the ice cream is our ice cream scoop. I love this ice cream scoop. I talk about it all the time. And I know it's just an ice cream scoop, but it's a darn good ice cream scoop. Let me show you why. So these are the ice trays. I really like the ice trays because you would just pop this open, fill it up with water. So I put it under my tap like this and I just fill it up with water all the way to the fill line right here. And then you snap it back shut and you kind of tilt it so that the water kind of evenly um, gets distributed. And I love that there's that seal on there. Nothing's going in, nothing's getting out. Everything's staying in your ice tray. You don't have anything flopping over in your uh, freezer. And then what I do is I just kind of um, shimmy it a little bit just to loosen it up. And then you guys, there's these little buttons on the bottom. So you just pick, take the button and it pops right out. So I really love that. So I'm going to put one ice cube in a normal spoon and one ice cube in my ice cream scoop. And then, and I hear that my brownie's ready, so I'm just gonna check it. So grab this here on the cool to the touch handles. Oh, it looks wonderful, you guys. Look at that. All ready to go. Oh, it smells chocolatey. You guys, I have, it was a Rolo. Oh, yum, so yummy. I'm just gonna set this aside. We're just gonna leave it for a little second. I'm going to hold both of these. So I'm going to hold my ice cube in the regular metal spoon and hold the ice cube in the uh, ice cream scoop. And I just want you guys to notice something. So what's so cool about it, I'm going to come closer. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, do you guys see that big puddle of water in the bottom of the ice cream scoop? That is absolutely crazy. And there's barely any water in this one. But this one, like, I mean, it's a puddle, okay? <laughs> now, what does that mean? That means that this ice cream scoop is actually taking the heat of your hand and heating up the, the, the scoop part so that you can cut through the toughest ice cream. Like, don't you hate it when you grab your spoon and then it goes all bendy and you have to bend it back into place? This won't happen with this it cuts through everything. And this is the reason why, is it's actually taking the heat of your hand, heating it up so you don't need to run it through hot water because it's just using the heat from your hand. How clever, like Tupperware thinks of everything. So speaking of ice cream, so I have ice cream here that we just took out. We're gonna grab our container and I can eat it right out of here. Like, hello, less dishes. Yes, please, thank you. So I'm going to make myself a scoop. Oh, just awesome. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And just because I can. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where are you? Hmm, I thought I had, anyway, I guess I'll have to look for it later. I thought I had caramel drizzle. I'm gonna drizzle some caramel on there. Yes, ma'am, um, and eat to my heart's content. <laughs> so there you have it, a brownie for one in the breakfast maker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to talk with you guys soon. Bye-bye.